All right, so congratulations to everyone who is farming the Ionet airdrop. Currently, as you can see on my screen, that I have an allocation of 48 IO token, which is worth around $250 based on the current market price, which is $5.5. So you can also farm these points. So if you are new here and if you don't know about the Ionet, I will explain each and every step about the Ionet token farming because they are running season three for the airdrop so if you are new here just watch this video because i will explain each and every step how to farm the token how to run the node and how to claim your tokens and if you are old enough and you are running the node at the past then you can claim your token just by going to the website ignitionrewards.iog.net and you can claim your points and you can also sell to the market if you want so for the new people, even for the old people, they are running a season three of the Ionet airdrop. And in this airdrop, they are giving us around 5 million IO tokens in this airdrop. So total, they are allocating 7.5 million IO tokens and out of which 5 millions are going to the IO workers. So if I go to the Twitter, then this is for the old people who are learning the nodes and they are looking to claim the rewards of the IO token. So users who have participated in the Ignition Rewards program can claim their rewards at this website and claims will be open at 11 UTC and it will close by 18th of June. So if you have farmed the tokens and if you have something to claim, then just go to the website because they have a deadline for this, which is 18th of June. So just go to the website and claim your tokens. So all the people who are new here, how to run this thing is you have to go to the io.net so this is the website where you have to go and once you go to the this website you will see a section of workers and you just go to the worker section and here you could see two tabs are there one is worker and second is earning and rewards so what is in the worker section is you will see all the running nodes that you have so currently you could see my MacBook Pro is running from just 30 minutes because I just started my MacBook node. And if you go to the second tab, which is earning and rewards tab here, you can see how many points I was actually farming into the season one, which is CPU points because this is my MacBook and it farmed around 3000 points. So if you have CPU, you can rent your CPU to the Ionet. And if you have GPU machine, then you can rent your GPU and you can make uh, these IO tokens as well as airdrop farming. So two things are there. First is airdrop farming and second is renting reward. So this is renting reward and this is the airdrop. So this is the documentation of the season three. So everything is mentioned here. If you go to this website and then there's docs, if you click here, then you will come over this part. So they have a complete reward section, which is called as ignition rewards program. And they were running three seasons. So season one was done. Season two was done in the season two. You can see they were rewarding 7.5 million IO tokens for the season two and season three, which is running currently and it will end by 30th of June and it started at 1st of June. So it's very simple. You just give your CPU or GPU machine on rent to the IO.net and based on the running, you will get uh, these points of IO. So how to give your machine? So next question is how to give your machine on rent to the IO server. It's very simple. Just go to the connect new worker section. And once you click on the connect new worker section, a new module will comes up here. You will uh, give a device name. So my device name, suppose a uh, video machine. So you could give any name and you have to choose your operating system. So my operating system is Mac. So if you are on Windows, then you have to choose Windows. So now I'm going with the Mac only in the next video. I will explain about the Windows, the full step of Windows. So in this video, I will cover only uh, MacBook part. Even the window part is very simple. Just one thing extra step that you have to download some few applications to run this Ionet. So let's focus directly to the uh, MacBook part. So first step is choose MacBook. Second step is CPU worker, which is already selected because this is not GPU then these are the list of the uh, chips that they are supporting in this section which is m1 m1 pro and everything you have to go to the next section in the next section you have to download this uh, binary which is docker 
so once you go to this website then you can see the docker over here and you have to download for the uh, mac chip which is currently this apple chip so once you download you could see uh, this is the docker interface over here and based on that the next step is run the command to launch the binary so i have to copy this command and just go to the terminal and enter your command so and next step is run the command to connect the device so once you click on this and you have to post on the terminal and then this new instruction prompt is coming which is saying uh, to authorize the device with io.id please follow one of the following options so on your computer or mobile device navigate to this so just copy this url this step is for the verification step that this uh, device is a verified device you have to enter here and then this is code which is pre-filled here and you have to confirm it and then continue with google so whatever account which you use to sign up on the io uh, website you have to uh, sign up over here and once you confirm this will pop up like congratulations you're all set and your device is now connected so once you do this you you, you have to go again to the terminal and now it is saying uh, please be aware that io worker will stop and it will delete all the running docker so you have to type yes because you must not have any worker running but right now you could see my worker is running so i will not uh, proceed further because that will ultimately delete my docker uh, machines which are running and it will destroy my session so i will not go with that you just need to type yes and done and everything is sorted once it is done you type it yes then it will automatically comes up a running uh, success over here and then you have to close it once you close you just need to click on the connect and then you have to wait for 5 to 10 minutes to get the signals from the terminal and it will automatically reflect here as a view device and that's it so these are the very simple step just choose the operating system follow some commands and done once you are done then you will see directly into your worker section there is your device is running here like uh, you could see on my screen running macbook pro so this is the same thing what you have to do simple operating system put some command download docker and done so once you click on the details of this device so this is the interface so we have macbook pro which is the device name and this is the uptime like how many days it is uh, running and this is the earning stats so currently it is in idle state that means my system is in idle nobody is using it but still when i am giving this to ionet server they are giving us airdrop points because we are contributing to ionet as an early uh, adopter so once you go this is the uptime percentage this is the connectivity tier and this is the location so these are the things which they are defining over here as a tier so because these are the uh, defining things by which you are getting the points so if your uptime is high then you are getting more points if your connectivity tier means your wi-fi speed if it is high then you are getting more points so these are the conditions and based on these conditions you are earning the points like i have been showing over here as a 3000 points so for more details you can follow this doc and let me explain a very few important parts here so in the season three if you're farming and if you're starting this ionet airdrop from now so they are giving 5 million points for the season 3 worker and into this how these worker rewards are calculated so these are the factors for the reward calculation number one is ratio of job hours like how many hours our machine is being used second is bandwidth so num like what is the internet speed second is gpu model which model which cpu model or gpu model which model it is and d is uptime so you can go through this whole document is like they have very detailed document and explain everything so and now this is the most important part so they have allocated 25 percent of the airdrop to the cpu part and 75 percent airdrop to the gpu part and which chips are into the gpu and which chips are into cpu they have a complete table so nvidia gpus are over here and they have a multiplier so this is the point multiplier so better the gpu you have better is the multiplier and higher are the chances that you will get more and more points so this is gpu table 
and they have a very separate section for the apple so this is advantage here so if you have a mac chip then it is an advantage for you because you are in a separate pool and these are the multiplier based on the chips you have so suppose i have m1 so in the m1 section i have 0.25 multiplier so this is a very separate pool for this just go to this whole document and they will explain each and everything that you are looking for so steps are very simple you just don't need to do anything and i believe that if you run this uh, from now as a m1 chip or m2 chip or m3 chip i hope that you will get at least 70 to 80 io tokens by the end of season 3 this is my prediction and calculation based on the past uh, seasons rewards that i received so it's just very simple go to the worker section connect new worker choose your uh, cpu type follow some commands and then and run this io airdrop and for the sake of the uh, how worth this io is you can understand ionet is the biggest biggest gpu and cpu provider and it is the internet of gpu so i think this is gonna be very very big and right now they are standing as 500k plus as a legit product and the current market cap is this product is around 500 mil and the token unlock if you see the token unlock thing it is very impressive let let me go to the uh, ionet coin and then the tokenomics so in the tokenomics they are releasing their tokens at least in a 20 years which is very high it means dilution chances sell pressure is very less so i think this this project is gonna very big so just farm these tokens i think this is the most rewarding thing into this bull cycle so all right so this is all about this whole ionets and i hope you will be running the ionet airdrop and if you have any question just feel free to write it down into the comment section and please subscribe to this channel and like if you really like my content see you into the next video thank you